Hey guys, welcome back to Adulting Avenue with Rugudile. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you find this video enlightening in any way possible or that it will take your mind off some things or it will give you some things to think about if you're a student or if you're into decor, maybe you'll see something that you like and it's something that you'll try out for yourself. But yeah, this is a video of um, my room, my student room where I live and one thing I can say about this place is that no, they are not paying me to do this. <laughs> I don't even know they know that I'm doing this. But one thing I can say about them is that their service to me, they don't know me. Uh, you know when you're someone that's not, no, I'm not a celeb. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity or anything like that, but they don't know me. The service I got was friendly people, checking in was quick, it was done in like under five minutes. Um, like you saw, you don't need keys here, so I can never worry about, oh my gosh, I think I forgot my key here. Um, just the biometric system is so convenient. Even though we do have COVID-19 currently, we do have sanitizers all over this place. They have this amazing, amazing gym. And yeah, the gym also has your wipes, sanitizers that are mobile, sanitizers that are on the wall. It has a lot of things. I guess mobile sanitizers so that you can disinfect the machines if you feel you have to. But there's just a lot of freedom, which is not what we are getting at other places. They like where I lived last year, they didn't allow us to, like, you had set days to go and buy groceries and maybe you got like an hour or two, I can't remember, but it was very specific, very timed, we weren't allowed to use the gym, like, but we were, pay we were paying for all of these facilities, but we weren't getting our money's worth. And it was just some dodgy thing, so I didn't go back there. I came here and I'm glad to say that the facilities are working, the gym is open. Um, yeah, it's, it's just very convenient. Service, I, like I said, when I got here was friendly people, friendly staff. Even moving into my room, doing the check-in. The room wasn't, it had things that I didn't like, like the curtains were dirty, the mattress had like big stains and all of that and it was dirty. My chair was dirty, but those are things that can be removed and fixed and that was done. Like when I, when I told the guy, the guy was like, no, you have to tell me if you like something, you, have to, you just have to be honest, you know. And that's not the attitude that you get from some people. Some people always feel like students are disrespectful, like we're entitled and we think, you know, like we're above them and us saying that no, these curtains are extremely dirty, they don't make me feel comfortable. Like you're moving into a new place and you're paying plus 5k a month and the curtains are dirty. Like you don't feel good about that, your parents don't, like they're not happy about that. So I found that the people here were very warm and welcoming when it came to that and I was really happy about that. So I got like a new mattress, I don't know if it's new curtains or it's changed or it's washed curtains but I got different curtains that are clean, I got a different chair that was clean but like you could, you are able to voice your feelings and your opinion and say no, I'm moving in and have one two three four five i'm not happy about and of course they take it they hear you and then they fix it which was great um this place is also next to campus i'm a student at the university of the free state <laughs> even though we are currently not going we're currently not allowed onto campus but i am a postgraduate student and i do have like i'm one of the people that are allowed onto campus if i want to go onto campus or say I have to meet with my supervisor. I am a master of science <laughs> student. So if I have to meet with my supervisor, I'm sure that I would be allowed onto campus. I'm one of the people that are allowed onto campus. But yeah, this place is next to campus. So 
that's very great i am a female i'm south african and i live in south africa so i need to be cautious and wary of where i live that's also something that you should consider when you look for a place to live ideally be as close to campus as possible because as the distance to campus um, grows smaller so does like crime rate the further away you move from campus the more dangerous it is it's just a fact so this place is next to campus it has a gym like i said we have i, I showed you the kitchen that my flatmate and i share um yeah there's also other places within this um this these premises where i could go and there's like stoves with ovens if i needed to bake where i needed to put something in the oven yeah so that's also very convenient yeah and besides that their wi-fi works very well i don't know if it's because there aren't a lot of people yet but their wi-fi works really well it allows you to go into netflix which is great because some places don't allow you to go on to netflix or the wi-fi is very slow but the wi-fi here is very fast it's, it works yeah but besides that no complaints about this place um yeah what else you can pay for extra additional services if you want like dstv and your tv they give you like well, for the package deal that I'm doing or that I've taken I've taken like a two bedroom explorer so that's where we share a kitchen but have our own bathrooms um, other people like you can also have a room where you have a kitchen in your room but it's way more expensive it's called I think premium already from the word you can hear Uti you will be paying a lot of money <laughs> this is also quite a lot of money but I mean yeah so yeah I hope you found this video if you if there's anything that you want to know about campus key in bloom I stay at campus key lodgement or Lachaman. I don't know how you pronounce it but I stay at the one next to the hospital I found that it's more it's closer to campus than the other one that there's two campus keys in Bloemfontein the other one is next to this really 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 no this corner I, that i don't like it scares me so i didn't want to stay there it, it just no so <laughs> i hope you found this video well this part of my video informative i'll move on to showing you what my room actually looks like i didn't film the other common areas because they are so common and you might um, i might go there with my camera and then there's someone in the gym so that's like an invasion of their privacy so i didn't want to do that so if you have any questions about this place or accommodation in bloemfontein if you're like going to be studying here and maybe it's your first year here doesn't mean your first year but like it's your first year in bloemfontein and there's any tips that you want to know about bloom and student accommodation here you can just comment down below or you can follow me on instagram or you don't have to follow me you can just dm me on instagram and ask me and i'll i'll reply thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy this next bit bye is the kitchen um we share a kitchen so this is my roommate's side and then this is my side we have like a two plate induction stove we get a free we get a kettle we get the microwave then you bring your own dishes and <laughs> these are my dishes and yeah it's just a small small kitchen space um these lights are motion sensors but they don't work during the day because there's natural light um, and when you cook you just you open the stove you use this button to open the stove uh, 
um, yeah. And then this is my room. Welcome. So I have the fan on. Um, but yeah, we get this heater. For some reason, this camera is not focusing, but we get a heater. I'll just turn the lights on. Oh, wait. This is just my room with the lights off. Um, I have my desk here, my washing basket, just something, some books. Um, yeah, my desk, like I said. And I also have, I put up those fairy lights to give it, you know, some personality. And that's my bed. It's a three-quarter bed. We also have this fan that you can adjust using this button here so I can make it go slower or faster when it's on one. Yeah, so you get a fridge, a fridge, that's my fridge, yeah, <laughs> just a lot of vegetables and milk and then you get your wardrobe i'll have the lights off i don't think i need the lights on it's pretty bright so you have enough space for a lot of things i've kept most of my things in my suitcases because it's not winter i don't need a lot of clothes it's quarantine you're not going anywhere it's locked down we're still on level three but yeah this is what the room looks like with the light on it's a very bright light um the blue thing over there is my humidifier and then you have these curtains that are like from the wall all the way down and you still have a little bit of space on this side of your bed and then this is just outside and then you have this cool space over here that's um yeah cosmetics your hand wash and a sink and some cupboard space with like toiletries masks and all of those things that you need yeah oh i forgot to say you do get a tv in your room so this is the tv you have this little desk or table that you can put like nice flowers or any extra things that you might have you can put on this table yeah i just have the remote there i have my bin i have some water oh i also brought my own mat <laughs> and yeah the chair here is very comfortable it's a very comfortable chair it's very big and this desk is very wide and big and everything is just comfortable yeah so I'm going to go into the bathroom which is this door over here. So this is the shower and there's like a towel rack and then there's a window, there's the toilet, I bought my own matching mat set, there's a bucket for when I clean. There's a brush to clean my shower, straight paper, and then there's a brush to clean my toilet. This window does open, but I'm just closing it because I'm on the side where next to me is just the road, so a lot of cars are passing. It's very, very loud. I liked their shower because it was clean. You know, sometimes you get those really dodgy showers. It was a clean shower, it didn't have any molding or anything like that, but I think that's because it's, you know, it's just opposite the window, so air goes in and it dries quickly, and yeah, so, but I cleaned everything, <laughs> I swept, then I got all that and made sure that everything was clean, but yeah, it, the door does lock when you're inside the bathroom. But even when you're outside, it's a door that does close really well. So, 
you can close the door yeah so that's that that's like the room tour I think my favorite thing has to be these lights that are not focusing and this bed um, I got my bedding from Mr. Price home um, from the gray pillow to the to this pillow to the pillowcase on top the pillowcase inside I think the one you sleep on I got from somewhere in my first year so that's like 2015 don't remember got this from mr price home this from woodwards this pink fleece and then this from um it's just a cover though i have an inner that you can also get from mr price home or wherever and this mat is also from mr price home uh the washing basket is from macro and yeah oh i also had to buy my own study lamp which is this one i got it from mr price home yeah i got most of my things if not everything from mr price home and yeah that's the that's the room tour done i really really like this room when the lights are off and i can switch off my fan and everything is just the curtains are block out curtains so if i had closed everything you could see really well you know what i see like it can be very dark at any time of the day but yeah this is the room tour i hope you enjoyed this video hee <laughs> hee please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions about Campus Key, Campus Key in Bloemfontein, obviously because I am in Bloemfontein, please just comment down below and I'll gladly answer your questions. Yeah, I hope I've answered everything that you wanted to know about Campus Key or about accommodation in Bloemfontein. Um, if you have questions about accommodation in Bloemfontein, because this is my third year in Bloom and it's my third year and i'm living somewhere new and i've lived at different places for each of the years so i can tell you what to expect by far this is my favorite place to have stayed at i'm satisfied with the bed i'm not falling off on the other side i have a window that is big enough that it lets air in because some windows are so small and it's ridiculous for the amount of money that we pay um my desk is big enough because I'll have I have my iPad and then I'll have my laptop and then I'll have my phone then I'll have notes like you work on so many different things at the same time so you need a big space like a big desk the wardrobe satisfying the fridge satisfying because I don't share it with anyone and I also love that I have my own bathroom that I don't share with anyone so I can keep it clean the way I like it and it doesn't bother anyone I've also found that the walls here are actual walls unlike at other places where you find that it's you can hear people on the other side when they're laughing or when they're watching a movie which was a problem at my previous place and I always had to ask my neighbor to keep it down and you know then the vibe isn't good at all because everyone can hear that person play music whenever wherever they are so I found it here I can only hear like the cars on the road passing by and that's it I can't hear my neighbor I can't hear any anyone else so that has been good about this place um, yeah please 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 subscribe to my channel I hope you found this tour very 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 fun and yeah if there's anything else that you want to know please 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 let me know i'm just showing off these lights now but yeah when i open the curtains this is what everything looks like everything gets gets brighter and that's like only one half of the window i still have another one which is great um yeah i hope this if you're interested in any of the things i got oh yeah i got the wall lights from china mall 
but if you don't have a China mall, I know um, Typo. Typo also has um, these lights because most of us use them as decor, especially in like student rooms. Gives a personality, it makes you calm, it's just therapeutic. So, Typo has them, but if you can find a China mall, look there because they're cheaper. I got mine for like 60 or 50 rand, and that's a bargain. But yeah, I can turn them off at any time I want. And that this is my candle that I make myself the eucalyptus candle. It really smells like eucalyptus, like, I compared it to eucalyptus that they sell in shops like the candles eucalyptus candles that they sell in shops and this is amazing this smells like eucalyptus oil nothing else so yeah bye thanks for watching my channel so that's it from my room tour guys and if there's anything else that you'd like to know about Bloemfontein and student living in Bloemfontein Especially if you're going to be studying at the University of the Free State, please, 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 like I said, DM me on Instagram or just comment down below. I hope you see this video on time. Yeah. Bye.